Hi, this is Tim. Today I want to show you how to use the Control Flash Plus to upgrade the firmware in your Control Logics processor. So I'm going to actually play a little of what um, happened leading up to this because this is the first 5580 processor that I've actually installed fresh and new. And when I went to do it in the traditional ways through Ethernet, USB, who active, hit the download button. The download button was grayed out both ways. So I found that I, when I opened Control Flash up that the upgrade seemed to be fine. So that's the route I went. And after that, everything worked fine. So I just wanted to share this video with you just in case you run into a similar problem. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And ask any questions that come up in the video or just in general with automation. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. And there's lots of ways to get there, but I always like to use the communications who active. It gives you all the options, whether you want to go online, upload, download, update firmware, all in one spot. So we are going to download. So we're going to open up our Ethernet IP driver and we're going to select our PLC and we don't have the option to download. So let's go to communications and download. And then we're going to browse to our PLC and it's not going to let us. Well, it's only letting us upload it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens when we upload. No firmware. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Okay, let's go to communications and tools. Let's use control flash. Okay, so I don't have any of the L80 firmwares installed. Okay, so for some reason, and I'm not really sure why, I can't connect over USB or Ethernet. And I get the feeling it's because the firmware is not available when I browse Control Flash. But I did learn at the Automation Fair about the Control Flash Plus. So let's see if that's there. Control Flash Plus. Okay, and browse Ethernet. Hey, and there, there's the PLC right there. Click OK. All right, and yeah, it's got 145 in it. It says it can flash to 32.012. Next. Warning. Read and understand all the stuff. Okay, I think I understand all the stuff, and I'm ready to give this a try. So let's hit the flash button. Now this is a time for patience, guys. I think the newer ones are much more robust as far as control flash goes, but used to if you were impatient or you had a power failure or you just had a really bad connection or anything, you could mess this up and you could actually break a processor. And at that point, it was no good anymore. So patience. Even if it's sitting there saying retrying, retrying, retrying forever, just be patient. And it says that it has successfully flashed it. And if I'd known I was going to run into this, I would have gone ahead and put some other modules in this. Because one cool thing that I learned about the Control Flash Plus is you can flash multiple modules at the same time. So we could have our processor in here, some input modules, analog, throw you know some servos in there. You could have all that in there and you just check all the boxes that you want to update and the versions that you want and it would do all of it for you, which is a really neat feature. I was looking forward to trying it out. So maybe we'll do another video on Control Plus just to see, but all right, let's go ahead and close this out now. And all right, it says that 32 is in the there, so we'll close Control Flash Plus. And now let's go to Communications, Who Active, and let's select our processor. And now, okay, now we have all our options. So I don't know what exactly the deal there was, but um, yeah, that was almost a little scary because yeah, I need to get this done. This is actually for a job. But uh, so now we have all our options. Go online, upload, download, update firmware. Okay, so if you run into this issue where the old control flash doesn't work, you say, guess what it is? I don't know why my, the control flash plus isn't linked to my Studio 5000. Anyway goes, I needed to use Control Flash Plus and 
the regular control flash was available in Studio 5000. Maybe somebody can tell me down in the comments exactly where I went wrong with that. But if you run into the same problem, go into the start menu, go into control flash plus seems to work good to get you going. Till next time. Hey, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.